in a parallel world with a kinder rankings committee, Mitoryu would have been in Division 1 today, perhaps testing his outside left against Tochinoshin's mean inside right. Instead, he's ruining narrow defeat in yesterday's epic on the sidelines with a herniated disc. Another chance to hit new heights is lost. Still healthy enough to aim higher this time, just, is Tomokaze, who needs victory here to return to Division 3. That's a landing he'd really rather avoid, a sign that all was not to plan. He was abashed to lose his tape, and, after the judges ruled, distraught to lose the bout. Try, try again. The most gripping promotion battle is as ever in Division 3, whose battlers are buoyed by the presence of an extra Division 2 slot post Takagenji. Let's start then with unbeaten duo Kitanowaka and Tsushima Nada, who both need to maintain that perfect score to go up. They gave us quite a match in July, if you remember, on the same tournament day and in the same circumstances, the judges favouring Tsushima Nada on that occasion. Here's the rerun. And it's youngster Kitanowaka who takes the Eliminator, avenging July by altering his response to the throw. In Nagoya dancing round the front, today staying behind and pressing down on the turning, thereby defenceless back. Breaking Tsushimanada's promotion dream there and then. Harsh. No real rest for Shiba after the date with the 200 kilo weight. Once more he has to win this time against higher-ranked Kotokuzan, who has lived the joys of Division 2. And it's another huge win for Shiba. He just needs one hand on the belt to blunt those thrusts. It's not happening on the left, so he gambles it all on the right, and it pays. Kotokuzan's repromotion is blocked for now, and Shiba still has a chance of going up himself if he wins his final two. Next up, we had Thrust Machine Tochimaru versus Curse Machine Hirado Umi. And you could see Maru's despair increase with each weakening thrust as his foe's eyes ignited and guided his hands through to the chest. Now Hirado can curse with delight. Promotion is one win away. On Division 3's highest rung, we have Chiyo Arashi, who tasted a salary for just two tournaments a decade ago. With two wins from three required to relive such delight, Aesthetics vanish. Just slap him down. Beat that key rival. Sharing the highest rung, of course, is slender Terasawa, now approaching the most crucial bout of his fledgling career. Win this, and he's into salaried bliss. Definitely. No questions asked. Definitely! No questions asked! It's been a long-term goal of mine and I'm happy to achieve it. 
said the man laid low by, theme of the day, a herniated disc, no sooner had he turned pro. A big hand for Sumo's newest paid Sekitori. Seeking to remain a Division 3 title frontrunner, by the way, was Ishizaki. Today paired with fellow uni grad and new boy, Kanno. That's a real student sumo move there, and only a man with exceptional balance can withstand it. Ishizaki is that man. As you know, 5-0. With so many fighters eyeing their status, you can be sure the second division men will try to save as many of their number as viable. This atrocious match saw Azumaru reach three straight wins after six lifeless defeats. While this bout between university teammates went the way of the one in greater trouble. At least this helps us know a genuine lung-busting fight when we see one. For the second day running, Shaw Horzan stars, as at home on that rope, as a tightrope walker. After this possessed version of Sadano Umi won well again, Abi had this chance to put himself, Sada, and two others in a five-man tie for the lead with trip throw master Akua. And that's exactly what he did with his trademark high and wild thrusts. I owe the win to my good start, he said. If he takes my belt, I'm toast, so I fought to ensure he didn't get to it. And I'd like to keep fighting like this. Sitting behind Akua today, I could really see the backbending effect those thrusts were having. In Division 1, Chiyono Kuni didn't leave Tokushoryu smeared in blood again, but left him smeared in dirt to reach 7-2, and extend his role in the title pursuit. The judges were taxed by these two agile athletes. And although Wakataka Kage was as sure as the referee that he'd won, closer inspection revealed that he hadn't. A splendid Ippon Zeoi throw over the shoulder, the first since 2017 at this level, screams, My, that horseshoed you has become some fighter. Don't ask me how I did it, I just reacted, were his words. Moving back to the title race, our surprise challenger Mio Gidyu was today looking to reach a stupendous 8 and 1 in this match with Ornosho. But ah, uh, it was too good to last. I aimed to hit low, but he just got there before me. Miyogidu said. But come on, 7-2 is still alright. Thus did the low rising charge so often and well deployed on Tedonofuji today aid Tedonofuji, handing him the chance to go two points clear in this bout with Dai Esho. 
Could the Asaka legend become a sumo legend? I think he just has, beating Mitake Umi to it, going down in history as the first wrestler to defeat the new Yokozuna. Of course he won't say how he did it. His magical strategy must be kept secret for future bouts. But I could attack him, put it that way, he said, of a match in a different world to yesterday's. Now let's throw Tedu a curveball to try and really open up this race. Uda. Your turn. <laughs> 